In this video from GreatPhotosWithDan.com, we'll be showing you how DSL cameras work. Okay, so real quick, how DSL cameras work. The first step to a DSL camera is going to be the lens, which is in the front of the camera. This is where the light comes in through, along this red line, number one. Within the lens, the light travels and it's going to hit number two, and this is a reflex mirror. The point of this mirror is so that we can see through the lens through the viewfinder, which is option number five up here. Now our eyes are up here. We're looking through the viewfinder. What we're actually seeing is light coming through the lens, hitting off this reflex mirror, bouncing up into the pentaprism, and then it bounces a few more times and through the viewfinder. This allows us to see the image normally as we would look through a standard lens. Now this is important because over here at number seven, this is where our image sensor is. In an older camera or a standard SLR, this is where your film will be. And the reason it's not being exposed is because of this shutter, number six, and the reflex mirror, number two, are in, are in its path. So on the left side is a DSL camera and you're with the shutter closed position to view and compose a photo. On the, rest, on the right side, of this image we have what happens when the camera shutter is depressed and we see that the image looks a little bit different. In this point we cannot see an image through the viewfinder in option number five. The reason because the reflex mirror will fold up when you press the shutter. The shutter then opens up. This allows light to come through the lens unobstructed through the shutter curtain and onto an image sensor or to your film. This is where the exposure happens and this is how your photo, your picture is taken. Once you let go of the shutter, it retreats back to the original position. The reflex mirror will descend, your shutter curtains will close, and you'll be able to once again see through the lens because of the mirror and the pentaprism. So that's a quick overview on how DSL camera works. We can go into a lot more depth, but this is just a brief overview. Hope you learned something. Take care, and see you next time.